And joining us at the start of the Thames Challenge Cup. City of Bristol Rowing Club A, Barch Station on the left of your screen, on the top of your screen as you're looking at it now, with Mosley Book Club B on the bottom of your screen. And here they go, we join them literally to their first strokes. being put down, explosion these two eights, careering off the start. Two really good lines there uh, from the Cox as they come down past the island. It's close as well. I'm expecting this to be an absolute corker. I thought there was very similar speed at the last big race, the Marla Regatta that happened two weekends ago. These crews know the times of each other, and they know they're both around at about the same speed. But quite a mixture, some very young rowers there in that morning, a 17 year old. Ali Al Sayed in the, in the two seat as we're looking at it now. That's the, you know, the right hand side of the boat as you're looking at the screen now. They have one experienced chat with them, haven't they? The kind of, uh, Tom Rimmer in the sixth seat of the Molsey boat. It's his uh, eighth Henley, if you believe. We're understanding bosses that can take a week off work in, in the middle of July, so we're still in June, not quite in July. But um, yeah, interestingly, we see City of Bristol here. Top of your screen, taking a length lead. Just going past the quarter mile. They're, they're up a little bit, they're two few more strokes a minute, aren't they? One or two higher. Obviously trying to get their head, their head early on and trying to hold that lead seems to be the strategy coming off the start here for the City of Bristol. It's working at the moment. Let's see what moles you've got. What do you do? You're lining up with a crew that you know you're similar speed to. What do you do? Someone's going to have to be brave and go out there and take the race on. That's certainly what City of Bristol have seemed to have done. This drawing away as well as we look. Uh, for this particular shot. Still take an extra stroke or so over Molsey. So I'm going to put all that effort in to establish that lead, and I wonder will that cost them towards the last couple hundred metres of the race? Time will tell. And they looked like they're in a bit of pain there, which you would be a few minutes into 2,112 metre race, but Molsey are, are stuck with it, and they've, they've still got a little bit of clear water. Bristol, we've gone past the mile marker, probably about half a length clear water. What can Mosey do? Can they respond to this strong middle section by the City of Bristol? I'm impressed by the City of Bristol. They've all the way down this course. They've been an extra one or two strokes a minute at the Mosey. They've fought all the way down this, this course to keep that lead. They really seem to want it. And they've um, really taken advantage of all these races opening up over the past few years. They've They've raced a lot together, the City of Bristol crew this season, racing Hammersmith Head, Quinton Head, Head of the River race. So they, they know each other inside out by this point of the season. And this is paying off for them there. A little look over from the Morsey crew. But it's a different type of racing, because when racing sort of six the rest of the multi-lane regattas here, it's, it's one, you know, one, on, one, one on one. It's a really different psychology to it. And I think that's something really, really special about this particular event. gutsy race there. They took it from the start and they've not let up. I, I cut to them early and I thought, will Mosey come back? But they've dug in, it's paid off for them and they're coming down towards us at a rate of knots and they're keeping this clear water. Heads up, City of Bristol, you're almost there. Just seemed to want it more, you know, Mosey crew bigger, maybe better pedigree, but City of Bristol just fought their way down this course. a real fight in some great rowing there from both crews. As they give each other a cheer, the City of Bristol Rowing Club in the Thames beat Molsey Boat Club on to the next race. 